So we got Zay and Andy here. Both of them have their own gyms. You guys want to talk about shout out your gyms, what you guys are doing with your gyms. I know you guys got a lot of history, professional fighter, professional trains, used to train killers at the Marine Corps drill instructor, which I highly respect. Army, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go Go ahead, with Army. Go ahead. Um, Talk I, about your gym, son. Your I just started career. my um, it's like an LLC. I run out of my mom's garage. It's nice, compact, private. So I started that when I got let go from my job. I was working in security at the time. I got let go. Okay. Didn't know I was gonna make some income because I had bought my home and and those buyings with my wife. Okay. Um, I had a good friend that was close to me and he said, Hey, why don't you try training? Why don't you do private one-on-one training? Yeah. Like you're a professional boxer. Exactly. You fought on Fox Sports one, you fought on ESPN. Like anyone would love to come train with you than a regular 24 hour fitness coach. They're like these guys that say they're coaches that they never been there. They never been punched in the face. And bro. I was like, yeah, man, but how am I going to get everyone to work around my hours? He goes, dude, you set up your own schedule. If they can Correct. book, they book. And if not like, fuck them, dude, like, yeah. Just set your own hours. Exactly. So I did, and that's how I started my private training. I've been building my clients, and thanks to Zay, I built my business, started my group classes. Because of Zay, uh-huh. we started working together, and then we started having the sparring events. And uh, here's Zay's opponent right now. Tune in. Jesus. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yo, 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 what's up? What's hey. up, Jesus? Look hey, Jesus. Just so you know, I, I told him you got to go by 740, so don't trip. Yeah, 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 for sure. Hey, you got a pug, bro? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. that's dangerous right there. That's a dangerous my, dog. My little homie right there. Hey, I got a I got a pug too. He walks around like he's a pit bull and shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> nah, they're good ass dogs for sure. Well, what's up, Juan? Is this the first time you've seen your opponent? Or you seen uh, him face to face before? I've seen him media. All right. Well, what do you think of him when you sizing him up with them big old guns right there? She, I mean, he look he looks big, but let's see, let's see. I mean, it's not about muscle though. That's true, bro. You've been training. You've been training boxing for a while, or what? Uh, I mean, you know, I feel like I'm like a self-taught, you know, type of person. Um, I mean, I did, right. I did go to some gyms for like a couple months here and there, mm-hmm. but I mean, for the majority, I've been like self-teaching myself. Uh, I got like you know equipment in the backyard, and I just do my own thing. And I feel like I have you know pretty good boxing IQ, and I feel like you know it should be a it should be a good one for sure. Yeah, for sure, bro. You ever been boxing before, like in matches? Or this your uh, first time or what? I felt, nah, I you got three. Uh, no, yeah, I got you got four now. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I got four matches under my belt. I mean, nice. it's the same style, you know, with the with the headgear. And I mean, so far I'm four and zero. So let's see if I can Damn, get that. Day. He's looking straight at you when he says four and zero, dog. <laughs> All right, right hey, Hasud, let me ask you something real quick. Now that I have you here, obviously we had an opponent that fell out. He bitched out. He was. Complain Damn. about stupid shit. And out. He just wanted. Well, that's the truth. Yeah, I feel you. Let yeah. me ask you, Jesus. I I was curious as a, as as me helping Zay, me training Zay. Like out of nowhere, like why do why were you down to be like, hey, you know what? Like I'm down to fight. Like I want, I'm down to fight that fool. Like I'm down. Like to, I'm down to fuck with him. Like I want to know as a trainer, like why, what, yeah, like, yeah. what was your thought process? Hey, you know, that? you know, we respect that too, Juan. No, like I do, I do, shit. bro. Yeah, that's why I'm like, damn. Jump in last night. Nah. Yeah, so so basically, like um, this 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 whole year, uh, I've been doing like I've been training and I've been doing little events here and there that I join and right. um, you know, like uh, underground, you know, like little events, backyard. And back, backyard. Yeah, backyards type of thing. I like it. Um, and I mean, you know, I, I like it. Uh, you know, it's a good adrenaline. I like it. I, I've been staying pretty good in shape, and uh, mm-hmm. I had hit I had hit up uh Andy. Cause I heard about his events from like, I don't know, I think like six months ago. I don't know when was the last event you had, but I heard about it and they caught my attention, you know? So I hit him up one day and I was, I was just asking him that I would love to be like in his next event, not really thinking like for, for this one, you know? Um, but then I get, I guess that one guy backed out and bitched out, he, bitched out. He, yeah, he, back bitched out, he, bitched right? out. he bitched out and, and he hit me up saying if I, if I really wanted it to step up and I was like, man, fuck it. Like, you know, I'm up for the challenge. Fuck it. So let's do hey, it. Hey, now, Jesus, was uh, you've been fighting three rounds? I've been fighting uh, three rounds, and the last one was supposed to be the the last two were supposed to be five rounds. But how long did it go? The the five rounds one so far, I won one in three rounds, and then one in the first round. So you never been five rounds? 
I haven't gone five rounds in uh in a real match, but I, I guarantee have, like, you, I guarantee this guy will put you through five rounds, bro. Hey man, I guarantee dude, you, bro. I, I, I don't, I don't doubt, I mean, man. Hey, I, winner, I, winner, I, lose. I, we'll we'll be through the five rounds, bro. That's clean, Quan. I'm just saying respectfully. I, I like, like that, dude. Just, the the no, promoters no, 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 over here calling up, you no. out. <laughs> the promoters over here calling you out. Your main opponent Zay, over here Zay, just staring Zay's you been down. Working. Zay's been working. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, cool. is this the main event? Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. how does it feel to be walking in to a main event right from the get go? Your reputation's huh. already out there. Like this guy throws down. This guy throws chingazos. Let's put him in the main yeah, event. Yeah, yeah. I mean, shit. It, honestly, like, it's pretty. It's pretty nerve wracking, you know. Like, I I fought in little other events, and there's been people around, but I feel like this is gonna be the the one with more and more crowd, you know, and and just the fact that people actually bought tickets for this, you know, it puts pressure. So it's it's something different. Yeah, I feel you, bro. So when you Zay, when you're looking at your when you're looking at your opponent right here, what are you thinking of him? Um, <laughs> well, first hearing hearing his record, you know, um, my utmost respect, you know, um, mm -hmm. uh, anybody that steps in that ring and that can come out victorious four times, you know, that, that's respectable. Yeah. But um, all I got to say is uh, I'm confident in my training. You know, I'm confident in my ability. Um, and, you know, like I'm, I'm I'm fucking ready. I'm locked in. Yeah. Um, I, I, I've been training. I've been sacrificing a lot. Um, and uh, I, I guarantee you I will come out victorious. Yeah, yeah. And, well, your coach you know, Abby here has got a lot of confidence in you. What do you think? Why do you think he's got so much confidence in you? Uh, we've been working together for a long time. Uh -huh. um, I think uh, I would say... 90% of this is the me the mental part of it. So you, so you have a professional coach here and you're going up against a backyard brawler, right? What makes you more confident than him right now? Because I'm looking at him. He looks pretty confident. But hey, I see you also. It's about me. It's about them. Like, at the end of the day, I could be a professional coach. But no, but but we respect that. We like that, no, Andy. Yeah, yeah. We, lo we love that. And we love fighters here. You know, we're trying to give, let you guys know the combination here of a student and a, what, what would you call it? So coach, trainer, sensei. We're much <laughs> you know? <laughs> mentor just because they got to put in the work. Yeah. Both of them got to do the miles. Both of them got to do the rounds. I always ask people: Did Manny Pack? Did Manny Pacquiao make Freddie Roach, or did Freddie Roach make Manny Pacquiao? Both of them, I think, right? I know, but what do you think? You're the pro. It's like Manny Cal was already Manny Pacquiao was already somebody before Freddie Roach. He made Freddie Roach. He but really do you think did. he could have gotten to that level? You think Pacquiao could have got to that level he without was the guy right coach? From the streets that had abilities. I think. I think the heart in him. The heart you can't teach heart. That's true. And that's my point. You know, with these guys. Correct. Correct. So when you're watching these fighters, also, and you're watching your boy here against Juan, what do you think of uh, of both of them? How do you think it's gonna go? No, I think honestly, when um, he stepped up to fight him, I knew it wasn't an easy fight. Um, I got Zay the best sparring I could possibly be getting, but honestly. It's a it's a great match because both of these guys are dogs. Yeah, they're both you can tell backyard fights. At the end of the day, none of them have enough skill to make it seem like oh, it's all about skills because yeah, yeah. at their level, it's kind of hard. It's more about will and yeah, heart than yeah, about anything. And I think it's gonna it's gonna be badass fight. I mean, yeah. honestly, like I'm not gonna say Zay is gonna win. I'm not gonna say Jesus wins. Like we won't know till till it till about the second third round. We're gonna know who's gonna start. But I can say, and I'm just, you know, go ahead, go ahead. I want to, I, I want to see a great fight, right? And and I hope both of you have a great time. First of all, I hope both of you have a great time, and I commend you both. That's very brave of both of you to step into the ring in front of a crowd, right? Yeah. Man, how, how does it feel, you know, that your coach talks about you like this, and how does it feel as this training? Because I'm sure you're going through some rigorous training with them, technique. What's the most important thing that your coach talks about when he trains you? Uh, like I told you in the mental part of it, mm -hmm. it's all mental, you know, it's all, it, it's all mental conditioning, um, conditioning the mind, conditioning the body. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, based off of the first fight, I think my last fight was February. I don't know how many months that is. Okay. Um, I, I'm 110% sure that we've improved so much. Um, you know, personally me, you know, I, I'm, I'm all about, you know, being disciplined when I accept any, yeah. any challenge in life, of course. um, but having somebody with his mindset, you know, somebody that's been there. Um, somebody that highest understands levels, at the highest um, levels. Yeah. I think that, you know, it pushed me extra this time. Yeah. Um, and honestly, um, this fight is, and he, he always tells me, man, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you. Yeah. But, um, he's been putting in hours he doesn't have to put in. Um, and just the confidence that, that he has in me, you know, it, it fuels me. So again, trained by a professional fighter like Andy, how many, how many students did you take under him as far as training at a time? Is it two people, three people when he's coaching you? 
The best was some other guy, uh-huh. a guy named Ivan. He's the first fight. Okay. He was he was booking with me privately, but but I was investing my time with Zay all my free time. Okay. Anytime I had. So anybody's out there looking for a coach, one on one time with a <laughs> professional, bro. That's fascinating, Andy. That's awesome. So anybody's looking out there for a professional coach, look at this guy. One on one time, okay. And so Andy, so Z, when you're when you're getting ready for this pro fight, I mean you got your own gym, correct? Correct. And how many hours do you train amateur students? Fight, amateur, amateur fight. fight yeah. yeah. Amateur fight. But it's a fight. It's putazos. Yeah. But it's not a pro fight. Pro fight. A pro fight is a different did ball I, game. Did I say pro fight? I yeah, mean, yeah, okay, sorry, my fight. bad. My bad. I, I had to correct you. Thank the you. professional had to correct you. <laughs> yeah, you get a fan. The pro, I, and I respect the professional because he's correct all the time, right? And so as your prof, as your first fight, that was next up again. You see that? Thank you. Uh, as your as your as you're stepping into the ring right here, and how many hours do you put into the training? Because you got your coaching clients at what? What's your gym? Uh, War Fitness Bay Area. What is it? War Fitness Bay Area. War Fitness Bay Area on yeah. First Street. Uh, yeah, South First Street. You come and get some training from my boy right here. So when you're coaching your your clients and you're with your coach, how many hours do you dedicate to coaching? And then how many hours are you uh, actually I, training? Um, I dedicate about ten hours a day to my gym. Okay. Uh, to my business, it's my business. You know, that's the only that's my that's my income. Uh-huh. Um, and then you know every day I would you know put in at least at at the most you know. Maybe two and a half to three hours. I would be with him for about an hour, hour and a half. Okay. And then um, I would put in. I have a running coach, so I would put in a lot of time with my running coach. Oh. Um, Sandra, you know, shout out to Sandra. Right um, she's Sandra. been putting a lot of time in, so that's why I said, you know, from the first fight that I had in February, um, I, I came out with the victory. But there's a lot of, you know, people fucking, you know, whatever. So I wanted to shut, sh- shut up, sh- shut those motherfuckers up. First of all, Hell yeah. um, because like there, a lot of them were still, still talking shit. Yeah. Um, and so I was putting in the weight, for the, the work for my first opponent. I was going down in weight. Um, I was going down to 183. I think I got down to like 187. Um, then my opponent, you know, fell off. Um, and then fucking, you know, when this guy calls, I fucking answer. And he says, he always says this, man, fuck you, Zay. Um, <laughs> this is what we're gonna do, and this is how we're gonna do it. And okay. I and I'm just like, all right, fuck, let's do it. No, but hey, look, the one thing about the last opponent was he was asking for too much of a lower weight. Oh, so when I found out that Jesus reached out and was asking Thank for you, the Jesus. fight at 200, yeah. I was like, damn, this fool's gonna be way more comfortable. He's gonna be able to eat good, train hard. Like, so for me, it was like. He was a little stressing about making 183, and I was like, hey, fuck that. Once that guy started asking for, like, a bunch of free shit, I was like, that's cool. Yeah, that's I was like, you know what? There's someone else out there, and I knew there was someone else. And that's why, like, in a different mindset, I know Zay's my guy, whatever. Like, I respect him because for him to DM me and, like, come direct, like, hey, I'm fucking down. I was like, oh, shit. Like, that's that that's just not anybody reaches out like that. Man stays committed, came on the interview. Um, shows up like we're gonna put uh Andy's Instagram also Zay so people want to get trained but also for anybody think about boxing could they hit you up directly yeah but my time ain't my time ain't free fuckers <laughs> no, exactly you, know, you gotta get paid right but at the same time I'm talking about for the promotion they come out and get in there how hard is it to get any promotion if they wanna um I just had a fighter fell out today I was fucking pissed but <laughs> It's it's just reaching out to me, but being a man of your word. And if there you're you wanting to fight, I'll give you the opportunity. But you got to come through. You got to come clean. Uh, it's me and Zay's thing. It's not only mine. Right. Um, this is why it's happening because of him. You nice. will see his logo on the banner. Um, he's that guy that was able to help me, and we were able to start this. This time around, we're doing everything different. We got an announcer. We got a coordinator. It should be more organized. Online streaming, online. Online streaming, yeah. my YouTube channel, Into the Trenches. Well, uh, well, thanks to my guy, Eddie yeah. Diaz. Uh-huh. And anyone from Jesus' family, friends, Zay's people, they'll be able to tune in. I'm sure a lot of people that were talking shit at Zay's with his last opponent, they'll be tuning in, hoping to see him lose. But we're going to have to see tomorrow. But... Juan. The work's been put in. Now it's time to execute the game plan. Juan, so you're watching this. Because so, it's a suit. Fighter... <laughs> just throw the J. Three Mexican names and I get them wrong, right? So fuck it. I'm going to change the name again. Jose. We got six, <laughs> six minutes. Jesus, let me ask What's you so you're watching? So you're watching this interview. A man's getting trained by a professional fighter. Yeah. You see the guns right there taking up 90% of the yeah. camera. Yeah. <laughs> How does it make you feel? Does, are you slightly intimidated, cautious, wary? Just throw respect on it. 
What what is it like? If I'm in your position, I'm watching these guys. Wait, this guy's yoked in shape. That's he trained by professional. Hey, I this. tell Zay the same things. I've always told him. Muscles don't win fights, bro. It doesn't matter how big your opponent is. He's coming at 200 yeah. pounds. Speed beats power. Timing beats speed. That's McGregor's line, yeah. and that's facts. That's facts. So you're that's watching true. this, right? He's spinning yeah, yeah, games yeah. too. What does it make? How does it make you feel, brother? I, honestly, like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I'm not gonna act here and be like all tough and shit and be fake. I mean, it is a little bit intimidating, you know, because. Um, Andy's a professional, you know, fighter, and, and he's training him, and he's been already since, I believe, February already. So, I mean, you know, they got something going, and he's a pro, so he knows he knows what it's like and what it takes. And, I am I mean, yeah, like, you know, it's intimidating a little bit, but, I mean, once once we go in there, it's just me and him in the ring. So, you know, I'm, re I'm ready. I mean, I, I know I don't have my own gym and all, but, I mean, I've been doing, you know, my, my thing, and I feel like I'm ready to go tomorrow, and let's see what happens. So when you're, when you're, what's your feeling? Well, last time you fought, what was your feeling when you, you stepped in the ring and looked at your opponent face to face five seconds before you, the same ring, ring. What was your feeling? <laughs> what were you thinking at that moment? Yeah. So, you know, once you're in that ring and, and you're just, you're just waiting for the bell to ring, it's nerve wracking, you know, cause you don't know what the outcome is going to be. Obviously you don't want to lose. You don't want to, you don't want to get knocked out in front of your people, you know, so it's, it's a lot of pressure. But I mean, once once that first punch gets thrown, I feel like you black out to all that, and you're just focused and locked in. Have you knocked anybody out yet in the ring? Uh, two times, two out of two four. Mm -hmm. Two out of four, damn. Who so, do you have in your corner, Jesus? Uh, my brother. My brother's gonna be my corner man. All right, awesome, Zay. So when you're looking at your opponent right now, listening to him speak and all that stuff, and know his training that he's going through. How do you feel about the fight tomorrow? Uh, I, first of all, I feel confident. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said, I, I, I believe in, in, you know, being confident in your training, uh, being confident in, in repetition and, you know, repetition, repetition, repetition. I'm confident in my speed. I'm confident in my ability. First of all, um, like, like he said, everything becomes tunnel vision once you step into that ring. Correct. Um, I've, I, I told him I've been more nervous for sparring than, than this fight, to be honest. Right, and I yeah. think, I think that's been, that's been, that's the mental part where we trained for this, for yeah. this already. Um, before my last fight, um, I was fucking nervous as shit. Uh -huh. Um, now I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm not nervous, you know, yeah. the butterflies are there, but once again, I'm confident. Um, and, and like I said, I've been more nervous for sparring matches just because back then I was not confident in myself. Jesus, how does it make you feel? He looks here and you say, he's not scared at all. You don't make him nervous. How does that, what do you got to say to him? <laughs> I mean, shit, props to him, you know? Um, it's all good though. I mean, we'll see. All right. Any last words to say to him before we take off? Nah, man, let's just have a good fight. Let's put on a show and, you know, let's be best, uh, the best man win, you take know? Us away. Take us away. Nah, Andy. I'm going to just end it by saying, you know, at the end of the day, this is all words. They got to both go out, do their fucking thing. Fuck the professional coach. Fuck his coach. At the end of the day, it's not about us. It's about them. Uh, hands down to both of you guys. And I wish you the best, Jesus. I wish my boy Zay the best. Respectfully, mutually, and uh, may the best man win. That's